If you are drinking your coffee this morning, it might be giving you more than just an energy boost. A new study from the American Heart Association found that drinking green tea or coffee lowers the risk of death for stroke and heart attack survivors. Here to help us break down this study is Dr. Nima Aga Abraham, an interventional neurologist at Baptist Health and a volunteer at the American Heart Association. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for coming on. So this is interesting. A lot of us drink coffee and tea in the morning no matter what, but it's good to hear that there could be some health benefits. Yes, this is a very exciting uh, study, especially for those of us who do like our coffee or tea. So what does it mean? What does it mean for the average person? We said this is for survivors, but does this affect everyone? Yes, thank you. Uh, and thanks for having me. Um, as you know, as you said, coffee is very common, especially, for example, in the United States, 75% of adults drink coffee. We have other studies in the past that showed coffee or green tea can lead to cardiovascular, uh, less cardiovascular disease mortality. The study here, the researcher basically looked at patients who had a history of stroke or heart attack and looked at the effect of coffee or green tea and followed this participant uh, to see if green tea and coffee has any effect on their mortality. And interestingly, what they found was that after uh, the participant did questionnaire, uh, uh, about 18 years later, they found that uh, pe uh, people who drank at least seven cups of green tea uh, had less cardiovascular disease uh, and led to less mortality. And uh, in patients who had history of heart attack or stroke. Uh, they didn't find such effect in green tea and patients who didn't have a history of heart attack or stroke. When it comes to coffee, they found that patient, people who had history of stroke and had at least one or more cups of coffee, they had less risk of mortality. Um, so just to summarize it, uh, these, uh, this study showed that uh, green tea can be served as uh, sec uh, secondary prevention. So helpful to decrease mortality on people who had a uh, history of heart attack or stroke, whereas coffee can be served as primary prevention, so it can help with people who didn't have a history of stroke and heart attack and decrease mortality. But doctor, as with everything, I would imagine that moderation is key. You don't just need to drink six cups of coffee and feel like you're helping yourself out. Exactly, and uh, basically their recommendation is um, moderate amount of coffee can be helpful. Now, we have to be very careful. This is an observational study. Um, so we can, it's not a cause and effect, but at least we know that, like you said, moderate amount of drinking coffee or green tea um, is not harmful and potentially can be beneficial in cardiovascular disease. Now, I do want to emphasize um, adding sugar and cream can most likely take away that effect because that can lead to cardiovascular disease. So we're really talking about, like you say, moderation of coffee and green tea or tea uh, without the uh, added elements. So don't make it too sweet. Don't pour that whole sugar <laughs> container in there. You got to just do it a little bit uh, conservatively to make sure that you're getting those health benefits. Dr. Nima Aga Abrahim from Baptist Health, thank you for coming on this morning. We appreciate it. Of course. My pleasure. And thank you.